push. Keep pushing. Push. Ready? No. Are you ready? Push. I need you to push now. Push. To carry CS on her. If they should carry a CS on your mother, am I a magician? Do I look like a magician that will come and do a bracatabra? The doctor said I was to pay this 300,000 euro. Yao, did you hear what I just heard? I heard that my lay brother's wife is in the labor room. See, I'm just praying that she doesn't make it or the baby doesn't make it. Why would you say such? Is it because of the property her late husband left before he died? I didn't expect such from you. You're too old for this. This is pure hatred. See, my friend, don't disrespect me, Joe. Is it because of that bastard you are just disrespecting me anyhow or talking to me anyhow? Who is a bastard? The child your late brother wife is carrying is now a bastard? Just because he is no more? Hmm? Why didn't you say this to your brother before he left for the military operation? Which took his dear life? Sweetheart, let me tell you this. See, eh? before my late brother died, there have been several news flying around that she sleeps around with other men just because her husband is not always at home. So where and how? Did you get to hear about this? You literally mean that the baby Mama Sonia is carrying or was about to give birth is a bastard? Exactly! That was what I'm saying. That baby is not my blood. He's not a member of our great family. So he can never inherit anything my late brother left. Even if it's a small pin, he will never inherit it. Stop being anxious of what you don't know. Stop judging that innocent woman who is about to give birth. In the absence of her late husband. Hmm? See, don't tell me this so. Oh. Is she the first woman to become a widow in this world? Eh? Richard, Richard, you have been acting with. Since the very day you heard she was about to give birth, will you be happy? If my in-laws treat me and your children the same way you are treating Mama Sonia, when you finally die? Queen, thank you so much for your effort and support you gave my family. Your presence was felt during my childbirth. What will I have done without your support? Thank you. Mama, it is God alone. See, I did it out of great and immeasurable love I have for your family. Mama, your family are also nice to me. Kole, I know. But immediately my husband's gratuity and pension finally comes. I promise to pay you back from him. See, just know that we will pay you for your kind support. Mama, don't bother. If you pay me back, I'm fine. But if you still don't pay me back, I'm still fine. I'm just thanking God that your delivery went successful. Sonia told me that your school final paper will be next week Monday. Ah, oh, mommy. I said Tuesday. Sorry. I guess the stress of the post-delivery activities is really affecting you. <laughs> it's just natural. No one is perfect. So, Mama, what is the name of your newborn baby? What is his name? No, don't go there. Oh. You are a different woman. Everybody knows that. You are a very decent woman who respects and adores her culture. Not until you are gone. That was the same way your brother's wife was pampered and showered with praises when he was still alive. I guess those gestures from her in-laws we're just eye service. <laughs> no, stop saying so true. It's just that we can't hand over our late brother's property to a son of another man who is not a member of our family. Then why not conduct a DNA test to find out if the baby is truly a member of the family? Which one is this DNA again? This is the second time I'm hearing such word. So what is this DNA I'm just hearing about? DNA is a paternity test done in a hospital to determine whether an individual is a biological parent or child of another individual. Eh, hey, but this one my late brother is no more alive. How do we know or do the test to know if he's the father or the son or anything? <laughs> the test still determines it too, even if the other person is deceased. Eh, hey, okay. Mm, 
I have several names to give him. But I would love him to be Ogenetega, which means God is worthy to be worshipped. Mom, what kind of a long name is that? Please, just shorten it up. Because if he starts attending school, eh, it will be difficult for others to pronounce it all. Hey, leave it like that. We will learn how to pronounce it. There is nothing hard when pronouncing Ogenetega. That was how I learned how to pronounce spaghetti and macaroni. Both names are in Italia. So we shouldn't be ashamed of our culture too. Mama, you are very right. We need to start bearing our cultural name instead of bearing foreign names. Just like me who bear Kuli. Not like others who bear foreign names like Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Come and be going to your house. You are in a foreign country. Mama, please let me take my leave and start going. I need to go and prepare for our last paper, which is coming up next week. And um, Sonia, come and escort me out. Thank you, Okule. Send my regards to your parents and also share the good news. Oh, Emeka, how are you? What brought you to my house? I thought our meeting day was next week. Chief, it is concerning your warehouse rent. I've been holding you. Please don't be angry. It is just that the business of importation these days are not really benefiting like before. The custom duties is really eating up our gains. I understand. But same way, you just need to work more harder. That is true, Chief. I brought the remaining balance of the warehouse rent. Hmm? Mecca, I don't understand the word remaining balance. If I could still remember, you have not paid anything for this year's warehouse rents. No, Chief. You sent your son Kunle to come and collect the money yesterday. So I sent 350000 to him that yesterday and promised him that I will pay next week. But thank God, I got the balance today. Oh, okay. Now I get you. But I never sent my son Kunle. But in any way, let's wait for him to come. Please relax a bit. Kunli, you're always naughty. So, who told you that people who bear foreign or Western names are aliens? Eh? I never said such. I never said they are aliens. I only supported your mother to advocate for the patronization of our local and cultural names as our first names. Okay. Oh. Mm. Hey, so, how have you been preparing for our upcoming last paper? Hmm? I know that with this stress we just went through, you haven't had good time to read your books. Yeah, the stress we all went through wasn't a small thing, but thank God um, everybody's fine now, especially your mom and her little baby. Kunli, ah, thank you so much. I really appreciate we now have more funds at home to spend for food and other necessities. Kunle, thank you. Sunya, it is enough. Ah. Well, just as mom said, immediately my dad's gratuity and pensions are released. We'll pay you back. Hmm? Thank you. Sunya, it is okay now. Uh -uh. Okay, let me be on my way going to go home now. I want to be going home. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry now. Nah. Um, Sonia, it's okay, but I have to get home right now and do some things and also read my books for the coming up exams. You understand? Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Like the wall of Jericho. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know what's going on. Mona Kiss. Oh, the Kunle is back. Ah, Ogai Mika, I thought you said it is next week you will come and bring the remaining. What brought you today here? Kunle, where have you been? Emeka, our shop tenant said that he gave you 350000 for his rent payment of my warehouse. Kunle, are you here with me? 
yeah, yes, but but I used it to do um, something that is um, very important. Kule, where is the money I gave you yesterday for the warehouse rent? Ah, Kule, you used my investment money for what? Ah, you must confess and vomit my money. Oh. 